How can I cleanse my heart from worldly distractions to make space for divine presence? This is a reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Do you know the story about St. Bernard of Clairvaux? St. Bernard of Clairvaux is one of the few saints in church history to have a papal encyclical written about him. The Pope declared Bernard Dr. Melifluus, the honey-sweet doctor for his unparalleled eloquence. Bernard was an exceptionally influential author, a persuasive negotiator, and a steely-willed reformer. His massive commentary on the biblical Song of Songs stands among the greatest works of spiritual and exegetical literature in the medieval Western Christian tradition. One day, St. Bernard was traveling with a poor, uneducated farmer. When the farmer noticed that the abbot kept his eyes cast downward, when the farmer asked why the saint wasn't looking at the beautiful countryside, Bernard explained that he wanted to avoid the distractions while praying. In response, the farmer boasted, I'm never distracted when I pray. Bernard objected. I don't believe it. Now let me make a bargain with you. If you can say the Our Father without one distraction, I'll give you this mule I'm riding. But if you don't succeed, you must come with me and be a monk. The farmer agreed and began praying aloud confidently. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Then after pausing for a moment, he asked St. Bernard, Does that include the saddle and the bridle too? Almost everyone experiences distractions of some sort while praying, as St. Bernard managed to demonstrate to the farmer. The man ended up joining him in the monastery. We can also learn from St. Francis of Assisi. Whenever he was about to enter church for Mass or to pray, he would say, Wordly and frivolous thoughts stay here at the door until I return. Then he would go inside and pray with complete devotion. Today's Gospel invites us to cleanse our hearts just like Jesus who cleared the temple from worldly destructions with zeal. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them out, all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. May we be able to cleanse our hearts from all worldly distractions and allow divine presence to dwell in our hearts every day, just like St. Bernard and St. Francis of Assisi. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving us unconditionally, for suffering, dying on the cross, and for your resurrection and ascension. Please forgive us when we let ourselves be occupied by worldly desires and distractions. We humbly ask for your grace to enable us to pray, just like St. Bernard and St. Francis of Assisi, with zeal and complete devotion, and make our body truly the temple of the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>